Safa always had a dream of building its own technical centre. The centre is intended to house all senior and junior national teams when they are in camp at any given moment. It will be used for both training purposes and accommodating the teams. In the long run, this would save Safa a lot of money without having to worry about the bills and other training fields for each team. According to Safa's chief financial officer, Groni Luyo, most of the budget to complete the facility will come from FIFA's project funding. The project funding uh, FIFA increased uh, from 2 million per cycle, uh, 2 million US dollars per cycle, which is per four years, to 3 million uh, per four years. So in uh, rent terms, um, uh, 2 million uh, is 34 million rents. Uh, per year, uh, per, per cycle, per four years, which we used to get. Now we are going to be getting 51 million uh, over a four year cycle. With the project funding, uh, what we plan to do is to use this money to develop uh, the Fun Valley uh, project. SAFA will be forced to look elsewhere to find the extra funding to complete its technical centre. For us to complete the full project, uh, when we did our estimate about five years ago, we needed 600 million rands. So that's, that's quite a lot of money. And, um, you know, to be frank, we don't have 600 million lying around. But uh, we are going to try and get funders uh, so that we can complete uh, the, the project. But we have done quite a lot uh, at Fun Valley. Uh, for those who have had the opportunity to get there, you would see that uh, there's been a lot of improvements there. Uh, what we've done so far is, one, we've upgraded the rooms uh, so that our teams can stay there comfortably. South Africa's football controlling body reportedly paid 65 million rand to buy the 38-hectare property in the south of Johannesburg. The fully functional technical centre will also have a hotel at least the center is now usable you know the teams can stay there and they can also play there but i must say that there is still a lot to be done and, and funding is the constraint so we're trying to get as much uh, financial support as we can as i say fifa is giving us money uh, for projects and we are going to use that we are also uh, up, uh, uh, approaching some corporates who can assist us with that project and government uh, which should also be able to assist us here. Back in 2006, Safa managed to build its own headquarters, Safa House, near Nasrek. The next project was to get the Safa Technical Centre up and running. The Safa House project was funded by World's Football Controlling Body FIFA and the building served as the headquarters of the 2010 FIFA World Cup Local Organizing Committee. Sfiso Ramara, SABC News in Johannesburg.